Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack and today I'm joined by the rather lovely... Aww, oh, Meg. Fist bump. Ba-doo. I've got a blindfold for Meg. Mm -hmm. I've got three microphones. We've got the AKG P50 Fizzle, Tortec VM Fizzle, and the Shaw PGA 58. Yep. And you're going to sing through them right I now. Right, first microphone. I'm going to plug a random microphone in Megas, looking very fetching there. And let's go for this one. And I'll pass it to you. Oh. oh. And just stream of consciousness, I want your thoughts. And far away, what are you going to sing for us today? Um, I was going to do a bit of the Lumineers, but I'm actually really conscious that I'm going to whack myself in the face <laughs> with this. <laughs> like right in the nose. Maltese Falcon looks happy. Lumineers, here we go. Okay. I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life And I've been sleeping here instead I've been sleeping in my bed Sleeping in my bed Oh, it was gorgeous. Well, on this point, you can only really comment on how it feels. Weight of it? Uh, yeah, weighty. It was, yeah, I mean, it was fine. Weighty. Didn't smell? No, didn't smell. I mean, That's sh good. Shouldn't do, it's brand new. That's good. And what we're going to do is to check the sound of it, we're going to listen to after. I think yes. that's the only way we can do it. Yeah. Okay, next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next microphone is this one. And with an expectant hand, Megas out. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, it's Fire a bit, away. bit more heavy, this one. Ooh. So show me family. All the blood that I will bleed And I don't know where I went wrong I don't know where I belong I can write a song Ah, oh, sounds lovely, Beg, by the way. Thank you. My next one, I'm going to give a little fist pump. Uh, oh. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> next uh, one, oh, this, this is, is really good. so strange. <laughs> Last microphone is this. In to the expectant hand again of Megan Archie. I don't think you're right for him. Look at what it might have been if you took a bus to Chinatown. I'll be standing on Canal and Bowery. Sounds so lovely. Okay. Thought on that in the hand? Uh, yeah, probably the second and the third one were slightly more heavy. <laughs> yeah. But um, I quite like that because, you know, it feels solid, feels a bit more... Okay, so you like that and then we'll quickly stop making silly comments about the weight of something with a blindfold and let's <laughs> listen to these, okay? Can I take my blindfold off now? Uh, not just yet, give me oh, a high five, gosh. really go for it, okay? Yeah! Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> First impressions, Meg? Uh, not too bad. Not the best m microphones I've ever sung into. No. Um, I'd have to say, if I had to pick one, it'd be number two. Yeah, and why? I think there was a lot less, is it per personance? Plosives. Plosives, yeah. So it felt clearer. Yeah. It felt, in terms of even just holding it, it felt a bit more weighty. Yeah. I have an idea which I think the second one is. Okay, Maltese Falcon in the corner. Maltese Falcon does works a lot with audio. And by the way, this test, I know you're screaming like, hang on, what's the point? These are live microphones. Yeah. We should be testing in a live environment. This was just to see, hey, a lot of the time, these same mics you'll be recording. People have taken videos of you now at gigs. So that's actually the audio you're dealing with. And we thought it'd be interesting to see mm -hmm. what comes uh, out of it, especially when you can't hear it, like in a gig scenario, this is what you... It was interesting for me, and one of the reasons why we did this blindfolded was I, actu I have actually tested these before. I Because I'm gigging all the time, I took these in a live situation and I have tried them. But I think for me it was interesting that I already had the view of what they are and what I would expect from that sort of mic. So for me to do it blindfolded, I say I like the second one, but I'm interested for you to tell me what it is. Yeah. I, I, I will tell you one minute. Experience. I just want an opinion from the Maltese Fat. Which one did you think sounded better? Um, I quite like the third one, to be honest. I agree, the third one. 
But I have to say... Well, it was between the second or the third. I didn't yeah. really like the first one. I have to say, in a live environment, you will probably add reverb, EQ, you yeah. know, yeah. sweeten it up a bit. Whereas this is just completely I know. dry. So I felt there was a clarity to the third one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just for these speakers. But anyway, we're going to get to what they were. In uh, Which one would you like to know first? I think number two. Go on, Do you want to know what it two? was? Number two was the Shaw PG58. I'm very surprised by that. <sighs> <laughs> well, sorry, we've really got a best of three. That was your favourite, wasn't it? So yeah. Your favourite was this one. Now, interesting with that, that's got a cardioid pickup pattern. Yeah. And um, so a little bit less, uh, a little bit more forgiving in terms of where the mic placement was. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yes, because as well, you didn't have any feedback of like what was going to the speakers. No, Maybe no. that was it. But, but that also comes with a cable, and that's just a touch over fifty pounds at the moment. If you look at the website, and I'd say, uh, what would you like to know next? I think the third one. Was third one very was very close. With bum, 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 bum. Yes, I see. I thought it would be. I thought it would be. Check this I'm out. So impressed with this mic. Twenty nine squidders. <laughs> comes with a Vince cable. Super cardioid pattern. Can I also just say that I think this one and this one, throwing it out there, are better than an SM58. Ooh. Honestly, I don't know why so many people use SM58. Whoa. I think there's so many Just wait for the four more. people that are watching this video are just going <laughs> to spit vitriol. No, honestly, there are so many good mics out there that are as affordable and durable, and mm -hmm. this is one of them. Honestly. And you get a cable. I think it's great. And then last it was the AKG. Yeah. Super card oil again. Th these patterns are going to be good when you're actually in the heat of battle and it's mm. all very loud. But and the other thing, you made a good point. These have switches, mm. and you know, for the stone cold giga, you probably won't want the switch. I love how I think simple that's the why Tortec I, is. When without obviously, because I had a blindfold on this time, I didn't know. But when I tried these out, this the Tortec one was the one I was way more impressed in a live. I like the sound like, of that like one. Like with. When you hear it with a full band, I felt like this was better, but also the whole switch thing. For me as a singer... It's a bit hotter as well. When I you're think. when you're gigging, you've got a switch on it. It does my yeah. head in. Well, I think but we've all learned something here today. Yeah. I think we're all better Maybe. for it. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, consider subscribing. If you don't, you don't have to consider it. Anyway, thanks, Meg. High five. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.